Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Kerwin, your Pinoy Britain. Today I'm so over the moon. I'm so happy and I received the news this morning and um, this is one of the most happiest moments of my life. It's just another milestone for me. Um, before anything else, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And um, here we go. I just want to share you a quick and a brief um, experience of mine today um, when I received the news. And so, um, all through this week, I've been expecting a result from my exam. Um, I had my exam three years ago. And this is called the OET test. I think everyone can relate to it, especially for nurses and any medical field. Um, especially if you're if you're planning to come and work to United Kingdom. Um, and um, pardon me if I speak English. Um, I'm actually now in the United Kingdom, and um, I just wanted to show it, to share to you this uh, memorable moment of my life. I'm so happy I can't even speak. But um, yeah, um, this morning um, my friend and I, my best friend Isabel, um, had a news. Um, I opened my email, and uh, uh, yeah, it's a positive news. It's good news. It's actually a great news for me and I, I eventually passed the OET exam and uh, I can't explain my feeling. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I just want to share to you my experience. Um, I live here now in the United Kingdom for nearly a decade, I guess. Yeah. I came here in 2011 and through a student visa and eventually I found a job here and stay. And now um, I'm actually, by the way, first and foremost, I am a nurse by profession in the Philippines. And um, now that I live here in the United Kingdom, um, even though that I lived here for that long time, I still, if I wanted to uh, work as a nurse, um, I still, the, the government still required you to take the English test. It's either IELTS or the OET, which is newly, it's the um, occupational English test. No matter what, how long have you? You live in the country and um, we're still clustered as overseas nurses so this program requires you to take this exam and eventually um, I took my chance I, I had the courage after a long years of like saying no 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 because no, I hate failure myself and eventually I took the exam and wala ko masyadong sinabihan and there's only a few people that I really trusted and I shared my journey and um, I just kept it to myself and um, yeah I was going to go that testing day that day but um, I feel so glad and relieved after the exam that day of exam and I feel like you know you know the feeling that when you get the exam you receive the exam after after the test um, you feel so relieved and you know you have that bit of confidence that I'm going to pass the exam so that's how I feel that day and eventually the results um, so okay. the answer sheets were being sent to uh, Australia I don't know why oh maybe probably because they're they're the um, examining body and and then you're given a three weeks um, time frame to wait for the result and uh, yeah today is the final day for me which is so so good and super excited and happy about the result and, uh, yeah, and one step and the second step is to take the CBT so I have to go back to revising again to uh, be prepared to take the CBT exam and eventually I will pass that um, I'm so confident because it's like a computer-based test it's all about theories in nursing and uh, after that the last bit the last hurdle is the OSCE it's like the practical bit at our side of um, the test and I'm so happy about that and I think I am confident I'm not confident in doing this video and um, doing this YouTube but uh, I have to go I have to give a go and I give a try and I know it's a bit weird I'm talking to myself but eventually um, hopefully um, this will become successful and I just wanted to show everyone um, my experience you know um, with my journey about taking the OAT exam uh, and the next one is the CBT exam and the last one is the OSCE exam so for all the nurses or any medical professionals um, overseas that wanted to come here in the United Kingdom do your best give your best and um, good luck for all your preparation and eventually and hopefully 
and um, you'll get the result, the positive result, and uh, work here in the United Kingdom. The NHS where I work um, at the moment is an absolutely great experience and help for me as a professional. And um, hindi kayo papa, um, NHS will not let you down. And everything, everything that in your mind, and all the possibilities to improve your life and career is with NHS. Um, I'm just so thankful and I'm um, so blessed um, to experience um, working with the NHS and this is like a lifetime warranty of um, it's like an investment for me because no matter what happens to me in the near future tumatanda na tayo we're gonna hopefully na hindi na hindi ko makuha yung mga diseases na yan but if that may happen um, I'm ready because uh, I'm so confident and my full trust is with the NHS and um, I'm not gonna you know if you if you live here in the United Kingdom and um, the health system is free no matter what kind of disease you have and um, you know unlike with the other countries that you have to invest for your health and um, insurance um, uh, let let's let me share my experience in the Philippines so although we have some public um, health or um, public hospitals um, you know, mahirap pa rin, mahirap pa rin yung, yung proseso. Um, like here in the United Kingdom, the, you know, the health system is for everyone and it's all free. So, um, if I'm working, all of my savings just, just, it's mine. And then it goes to another plans for investment and etc. But anyway, um, this is just a quick video because I'm supposed to go to the market and buy some plants. I'm, I'm a plantito now. <laughs> because of this um quarantine um with this covid i think that's the positive side of it and um anyhow um back to the story um, i'm just so happy and overwhelmed and i hope i will serve like an inspiration to everyone who is aspiring um or aspiring to come here in the United kingdom and um, to work as a health professional uh, so um just check out the website of the nmc or um the website um mainly of the UK VI, you know, for the guidance. And uh, in my case, as a nurse, um, we as a nurse, all of the nurses have to take um, um, OET exam, CBT, and the OSCE. So good luck to everyone. And please subscribe and hit that like um, button and that ring, uh, bell button. Uh, and I'll see you again next time. Okay? This is your Pinot Britain. This is Karin. And ciao. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Um, this is another milestone for me, for my life. Uh, I'm always uh, excited um, to receive a card um, since I passed my exam and my loved one gave me um, some card and we have to open it. Open that in. You know, <clears throat> in every occasion, I always collect cards and apart from the gifts, the, I think the most thing that makes me happier is the card. I always love cards um, on my birthday, on Christmas. And um, fun fact, uh, I always collect cards um, all through the years and it, I always kept it in my loft. Uh, I think we're gonna make uh, another video for that. Um, it's very interesting because um, it's, it's a unique um, like collection, you know, um, to do because um, it brings back memories. You know, when I'm done, um, meron ako mga um, abubot na, na pwedeng tingnan, you know, to look back like, oh, 2000, 2001, 2002. Um, my friend or my loved ones, my family sent me this card and it just reminds you of your age. <laughs> age or what happened to that year, you know, um, meaningful things that happened to you to that year. And uh, it's just so nice to receive cards. Um, it's the thoughts that count, as they say. Because um, you really feel your love, you know, uh, that you're loved by someone, uh, your family, your friends. And yeah, so this is mine. Ta -da! <laughs> Cheeky monkey, that's me. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you so much uh, for this card. Congratulations, um, Congratulations, and you could do it with love. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Love card. So guys, next time you know what to, to send me. 
on my birthday. Anyway, my birthday is coming on the 1st of November. And so I think this uh, milestone is the gift for, for my birthday that I pass the exam. You know, E.T. Kahit mahirap, sige lang, go lang and go. <laughs> you know, when I heard about the news, everyone at work was so happy and was so delighted. And uh, I would like to take uh, this opportunity to thank my manager. She's always good for me. Um, to, to become a nurse and um, she get all of her trust in me and uh, also to, to my dance and the whole group um, you've been there for me and I felt the love and the sincerity and uh, I promise I will not change I mean all of the success is because of the inspiration and um, that you know the trust as well that you um, showed to me that I can do it and now that I did um, it's the first step uh, still have the second and third and also to Isabel, Patricia, to Nikki, um, to Hans and uh, Ron they are my best friends um, I got only a few best friends but um, you know um, they're the best buddies uh, in my life and they always push me to um, to my limits <laughs> to, to greater heights and um, so um, thank you thank you guys and I love you so much and um, you know I can't thank you all enough um, from the bottom of my heart to so all the overseas nurses around the world you may be in India Pakistan Middle East Singapore or in Philippines especially um, piece of advice please give your hundred percent and dedicate your time your um, energy and revising this OET. I know it's hard, I know it's hard, but if you just dedicate your time yourself to this test, you know, you're gonna be successful. You're gonna pass this OET, trust me. I did this and you can do this as well, please. And I'll see you with your success. I will see you here in the United Kingdom. And uh, ciao.